my channel guys my name is Mariah and this is Rants and Reads. I'm really excited today Daffy. I'm really excited today to be filming this video because I'm going to be talking about my experience at the Stars Above book signing for Marissa Meyer's last book in the Lunar Chronicles and yes I said it last book in the Lunar Chronicles. And yes I said it last book in the Lunar if you don't know what the Lunar Chronicles is, it is an amazing series. It consists of six books plus a companion novel, so that's six all together with the companion novel. It's just such an amazing book series. It has um, fairy tale retellings of all different types of characters from fairy tales we know, such as Cinderella, Rapunzel, um, uh, I mean, she just can't even think, but yes, it has this fairy tale retellings, but in the future. And this was my first book signing in my whole entire life. So that was something that was just so exciting to experience and I would totally do it again. Marissa Meyer is my favorite author as well. And this is my favorite series of all time. So the fact that I got the whole series signed plus some is just great. So now I'm gonna tell you guys about my experience at the signing. So I went to the signing in PA at Barnes & Noble in Ben Salem and it was just so amazing to see everyone there. People dressed up as, diff as, as different characters. And not only did they dress up, but like you could just see the love for the Lunar Chronicles in the room. Like everybody was talking about it. The signing was at 6 o'clock, but I knew we had to get there early. So I really, I've been planning this for about a month. And there's my cat Daffy. He also reads the Lunar Chronicles. Planning for this signing for a very long time. Like, this signing was just so crazy to me. I had just finished winter and I heard about the stars above and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I need to go to this signing. Oh gosh, give me a second. Okay, anyway, so I begged my mom. She took off from work for this. I took off from work for this. Then I had my friend Journey and she, we picked her up straight from like after school and we basically were on our way there around 4 o'clock. Now, it was so much traffic to get there. It took us two whole hours and some change to just get to the signing. And I was so nervous that they were going to sell out Stars Above because so many people were, were saying they were going to go. I actually bought Stars Above before... I, before the signing at um, Books a Million because I had to buy the book there too. So I have two copies of Stars Above. I was already nervous that they were going to start sell out of Stars Above at the signing even though I did reserve a copy of Barnes and Noble. I was just so scared and so worried that I was not even going to get these books signed. So when we got there, of course we got there around 5 o'clock. So this was a whole hour before the signing even started. When we got there, there were tons of people there like at least a hundred people when i bought my stars above book i also bought cinder and scarlet and hardcover there because i had the paper racks but when i got there like i was number 102 i was number 102 102 <laughs> so there was lots of girls there i there were some guys there too but there were lots of people there and i've never experienced um, so many people at a book signing before, so it was so amazing. I'll show you guys the books that I got. Um, ooh, okay. So when I was there, I got hardcovers of Stars Above, which is the newest book, which is actually my favorite cover of the, all the books of the Lunar Chronicles. And then I got, um, oh wait, this is Cress. Um, I got Cinder and Scarlet from, um, the signing at Barnes and Noble as well that day. I literally dropped sixty dollars, and my mom was looking at me like I was crazy. But I needed to get these. The signing process didn't really happen until around seven, eight o'clock ish, and we had to stand in the line and wait for our numbers. But she signed the books so so fast. We had multiple like stacks because she was signing whole series. So everybody you know they came in and they had all their series and i was just like so excited i had my book bag full of books my back was hurting my friend journey she's never even read the series but she's gonna read it now her back was hurting because she was switching with me to carry the bags and it was just so crazy and so when i saw everybody there at first i was a little intimidated and i was really scared like when i get scared a lot what i do is i hold my arm now i'm gonna put footage in too of me talking to her and you'll see this there but i hold my arm arm and then I sweat like oh and it was really hot in there too so that didn't make it any better but 
everyone there was so nice and I even met this lady who was dressed up like the Queen of Hearts for her new book Heartless which is coming out November 8th. She did give away an arc. I didn't win it but it's okay. Um, but yeah, it, everybody was just so nice. I took a picture with the lady. There, they were just so, so nice. I met these twins. Their name was Clarissa and Clary, I think. So nice. Me and them were talking about stars, um, just the Lunar Chronicles in general and our favorite characters and everything. And it was just so much fun. My mom, she just looked at me like I was crazy because I was like fangirling so much over Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer did have a Q and A while we were there, um, and she answered questions about her new um, graphic novels that are coming out, her favorite character of the series. She really didn't have one, and she also talked a little bit about her new books that are coming out. She's having a new ghost paranormal book that's coming out in March, which I'm going to read. It's not young adult; it's kind of the adultish. I forget the title of it, but I'll put it down below. And then she's also coming out with Heartless, which comes out November eighth. And that is a retelling of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland before she became a Queen of Hearts. And I'm just like, ah, Marissa, you and these fairy tale retellings, I can't even. She also told us the story of the original Rapunzel by Hans, um, you know, the more gruesome story. And that was amazing too. So, yeah, so let me show you all the books that she signed. She only customized one book, like, to a person. Um, so we had to put sticky notes in the front of the book so, you know, she could spell out our names and everything. And it went really quick. Like, once the line started, I was literally in the line, um, after they called the, they called every 30 number. So by the time I got to 100, that was only, like, 30 minutes after she first started signing. So she was signing the books, like, super speed. Um, so yeah. Um, I got all these signed. Oops. <laughs> I got Cinder signed. And let me show you guys. Um. This is where her signature, wait, I'm so excited that I can't even turn the pages. This is what her signature looks like. Do you guys see? Do you guys see? So, that's all the, that's the same signature all these. So, I'm not going to open all these because that's going to be a long time. But I got Cinder Scarlet Crest. I got personalized for me. And it says to Mariah. Um, sure you got it. It says to Mariah. Marissa Meyer. I think by the time I got up there, Shell, she was sick of signing, so she didn't put like any sentences or anything. But that's fine. I really don't care. I mean, I got it signed. I got a whole series signed. So then I also got Ferris, which is one of my favorite books from the series, actually. And a lot of people don't like this one, but I do. And look, it says Marissa Meyer. And then Winter. This was the most like, ah, uh, I was so excited about this one because it says. Okay, it says join the, they put a stamp in it that said join the resistance, and I was just so excited about that. And then, I also got my UK version of Cinder Sign. Yes, I have a UK version, I know you guys are asking, she asked me the same thing. When I went up there, she asked me, she was like, why do you have a UK version? I was like, because I love you. I didn't say that, but I'll put the um, footage in from when she actually signed this version, because it was just so exciting. So yeah, also, when we got, I didn't take my wristband and put it on my wrist, wait, wait, I left my wristband upstairs, so I'm not going to show you yet, but it just was a yellow wristband that said 102. We also got these Lunar Chronicles little foam pouches, and then inside it has the password for the first couple chapters of um, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, so yeah, I really like this, I stuck it on my bookshelf. Then they were having quizzes as well, um, Lunar Chronicle quizzes, and basically you answer one question, and if you get the question right, then you get a poster, and I was on the ball with it. I, like, I shot my hand up so fast, I think I tore it out the socket. Um, but the question they asked me was, what age did Cinder get her surgery? And I was like, 11, and then I got the poster. So that, that was really exciting. This is what the poster looks like. It's the Rampion, guys. The Rampion. And if you guys um, didn't know, I have a copy of the paperback of the crust just because the Rampion is in it. Yeah, I'm a super fan. And then, but then it got a poster of the Rampion and it's actually signed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's signed right there. And on the back, it's just the Lunar Chronicles, like, advertisement stuff so yeah I'm gonna put this definitely in my room 
I didn't get my paperback so Crescent Scarlet signed just because I didn't want her hand to her. I really feel for Marissa Meyer and I didn't want her to do that to her. So yeah, those didn't get signed. And um this is not this is not for the rest of Okay, then the last thing I want to show you guys, which my mom actually surprised me with, and I was so excited about this. I was like, Mom, I can't believe you did this for me. She got me live Library of Souls Attacked by the Book. Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. And I only have paperbacks for this series. So the girl, the twins that I met, they kept saying, look at the book jacket. Look at the book jacket. I was like, oh my gosh, what's on this book jacket? Like, what? Better not, it better not be Enoch. So then, oh my god, you guys, look at the book jacket. And if you can't see it, it has signatures of all the characters in the book. It's Jacob, and I, my voice is probably so annoying in this. But it, I was just so excited. Like, I was like, oh, I was so excited. And this is the last book in the um, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. Definitely recommend that too. But I was just so excited. I love this book jacket. Naked. I don't. I'm, I don't really feel for the co the cover, but I do like the book naked. So yeah. Oh um, guys, that was my experience at the Marissa Meyer Stars Above book signing. Um, I'm gonna put in some footage and some pictures of me talking to her and just me at the signing and just everything. It was so amazing and I would totally do it again. It was just a thrill ride of fun to see so many booktubers just there and having so much fun. And I'm just gonna go now because I have a lot of reading to do. I definitely want to reread this, this series now because it's just so amazing. And if you have not read Lunar Chronicles, read the Lunar Chronicles, okay? Don't wait. Read it. Read it now, okay? It, it's it's literally six books. I know this is a lot right here, but this that's not how big it is. It's six books. Read the companion novel because that's good too. And just read it. And it's so amazing. And you guys should totally read it. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And more videos are to come. Thank you guys so much.